All right, so um, did not show part of this process yesterday. I, I kind of ran out of battery, but I showed you a glimpse of this earlier. Here is my mock-up of my mounts. So, as you can see, I'm just using some cardboard. I just cut up and I just found some bolts that uh, third it in. Um, and this is a 13B mount, which is pretty uh, standard. And then I'm just gonna do a flat plate here, a flat plate here. And then all I gotta do is um, frame them here. So again, just kind of like a, kind of a 90 degree, obviously well, less than 90 degrees. Yeah, so gonna be on the outside here. Probably gotta extend it outside there. And, you know, maybe even inside here. This one is a little bit further away. Um, other one is very, very close. So this definitely has a lot more, more distance. I have a lot of room to play with, so I don't have to be too, too picky. Most people that um, would be doing swaps, particularly not on this type of chassis, what a lot of people run into is the steering shaft. Luckily on the ARC-7 FC, it hugs pretty tight against the frame rail, so it doesn't get in the way of stuff here. So, a lot of room. The only thing that's going to be here is going to be the starter, the um, coolant pipe that goes to the radiator, and then the S2000 manifold. So, definitely have, nice to have some, some room. My cardboard. But, yep, this is uh, my low workstation. I think that's the gist of it right there. It's gonna be the main frame of it. Looks like a rear diffuser, but I think that's it. Looks like it should be pretty strong. Obviously, it's quite a bit uh, large. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of um, trimming to do, but. I think that should be good. I checked the starter, put it in there. Looks like it just about clears. Um, and all those 90 degree bends there, I'm just gonna flan that out. But I think that should be it. I should uh, really measure out perfectly. Um, then once I do that, transfer over to the metal. And then from there, once I got it really out positioned and perfect um, then ideally would be to tack weld. It's pretty late here already it's um, I think it just hit 2 a.m. so I think I need to call it a night. Where we left off at was building the mounts um, mocking them up with cardboard. What I gotta do is really trim it because it is really bulky and we don't need huge mounts just taking up space so I had to put the water pump housing back on with the thermostat housing and a starter because that is the things that are gonna be in the general area. So I could definitely see the parts I got trimmed. So I'm gonna start marking and trimming to make it as minimal as possible. Then I could start copying that over to become templates for the steel plates I have. So, so again, starter's on, thermostat housing is on. So you can definitely see when I had it diffuser looking with the, uh, the braces right there, those are going to be in the way. So I definitely will have to kind of trim and loop underneath and stuff like that. So let's get at it. Should kind of tape on quite a bit. This housing is in the way. Okay, another thing I figured out, the swivel housings that you buy, again, it's going to be pointy, you could swivel it in whichever which way. 
you can take that new swivel piece and mount it directly onto the water pump housing. So it kind of deletes this whole housing here, um, which splits this is, goes to the heater, and then this one goes to the intake manifold. This one I will be plugging. This one you pretty much have to run here. So I've been trying to see which other, which ones to get and see if it's gonna be necessary to keep this here. Because if I just put it here, I will kind of make more room for this here. That'll be it for today. See you on the next one. Comment so I know who's watching and I know what you guys like and what you guys wanna see. So please comment. See you guys later.